Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub. This is Crusader Kings 2. And this is episode 205 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are, of course, Filkia Sigadar Ring, the insane immortal, disfigured, one handed, etc., 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 ruler of all of Scandinavia. And we are maybe going to toss out one of our concubines. No, still good. All right. We're at war. Excuse me, having a little bit of a burp issue there. We're at war with the Shabanid uh, Empire. All of these dudes. For that little province in there. And we're also at war with the Byzantine Empire. For those two provinces up there. Now, interestingly enough, we haven't actually made any aggressive moves against the Byzantines. But we're still at 62% war score. Because we got, like, friendly armies kicking the shit out of everything. Which is great fun. This one down here, though, we're just plugging along. We'll take the rest of this one fairly soon. And we've got an army up here. And, oh, look at that. Can we intercept? 19th, 31st. No, we cannot intercept. They're going to al Najaf as well, so fuck it. I do actually want to have a battle with the Shabanids at some point. Because without that, things get problematic. Uh, okay. Oh, right. This one is leading his army. I forget that all of... When you have secondary wives, they all become empress. We've got enough money... To upgrade the hospital here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Might be another one coming. <coughs> Always is. Uh, hopefully we can forestall a third, but let's just build that right there. That's a lot of money to be investing into it. But it'll be done soon. And there's a peace offer from the Shabanids. Yep, he is surrendering, so we will just accept that. Ah, thank you very much. Come on, game. Come on. Don't let this be a repeat. Okay, there we go. It's like, don't let this be a repeat of last episode. Alright, wag. Let's just get rid of them, and we'll distribute out these non-impressive holdings. Now, WAG was a part of WAG, which means this dude here, who is the chief of, chief of Lacomezia. Can we make the... Yes, we can indeed make the Duchy of WAG if we had a little bit more money. Yes, 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 I know. Okay, there's our little bit more money. There we go. Very good. This guy, you're now the Yarl of Wag. Have the lot. Thank you very much. Okay. Good times. Now. You look like you're new. Which means... It's time for your, like, you know, new person party. Yes, we absolutely can. He's not even a member of the um, pact against us, so we're just going to declare war on him immediately. It's going to be a de jour claim, because uh, I don't give a fuck. And we'll head in over there and take his shit. Uh, meanwhile, these guys should probably try and handle these Byzantines that are trekking around the place. I mean, I guess. These are still the Shabanids, right? Yep. A little confused by the uh, exact way it's being portrayed. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have these guys come over here and just maybe try and deal with these guys. Um... Charters of my blood, and I will look after them. 
Not a fucking asshole. So it looks like he hired mercenaries? He does have the money for it, he's got quite a bit of money. Huh. Oh, that might go badly for the Byzantine, actually. He just doesn't have the morale. Yeah. Oh, barracks in Nazborg. Can we actually do anything? Ah, oh, yep. Castle fortifications. Looks like we've got a bit of a disease outbreak going on here. Yeah, camp fever. Oh, well. Got a few disease outbreaks, actually. Ten epidemics, nine of them in my realm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, this is, I know we have a slow fever over there. There's consumption somewhere. Was this consumption in here? No, that's slow fever. Where's the consumption? Oh, down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it might be counting the camp fever here as two outbreaks. Let's see, are there two or three camp fever outbreaks? Only two. Smallpox is somewhere. Where the fuck is the smallpox? In Stolp. Where's Stolp? <laughs> Alright, you know what? It's not important because I can't die to disease anyway. And uh, obviously we don't care about people who you know, are afflicted by things that I cannot be afflicted by. Hashtag Republican, am I right? Alright. Thank you. So we're just sending the army back this way to, like, you know, deal with stuff. Um, Rickoffer has potential. So, clearly has potential. Good work. Pull a shipyard in Ankoping. Upgrade it again. Thank you. 76% against the Byzantine. Just keeps getting better. I'm not even doing anything for this. I am bringing my guys in to like try and deal with this guy. He'll probably stop his move. Yep. That's good. Oh, excuse me. Okay, he has completed his move there, that's fine. I will complete my move and then try and chase him. Like so. And that looks like a successful interception. And we got a fight. That we've won. Quite clearly. Got a child here who would probably be a good commander, so let's make them a good commander. Okay, we're now at 91%. That is actually fine. Um, I don't particularly want to chase them into Jerusalem, to be quite honest, but fuck it, I guess we better. Ah... <sighs> Another child needs a guardian. We up you off of a military as well. There we go. Oh, I got some more points, so let's renew my study. Successful battle, we're at 95%. Um yeah, chase him into Jaffa. To the sea! Okay, we're sitting on there. Um, you know what, let's go and take those guys on and then walk back. See if they move. Well, oh, Alzno built the castle fortifications that we were after. Very good. Keep at it. 
just want to see if these guys move. If they don't move, then we've definitely got it. That's 100% of a Byzantine, so let's just declare our victory. Yep, thank you very much. Ah. Not the easiest war we've had against the uh, Basilius, but, you know, close. There we go. Thank you. Just go and deal with Mordva up here. Is this it? Yep, this is it. These two places here. Oh, look, we've got uh, the Brotherhood lurking in our lands again. Fucking assholes. We missed the button over here. Thank you. Now, I believe... Yep, that's part of the theocracy here. This guy's stuff. Du jour it. Give me the duchy. We can't take it because it's from him. That's all right, buddy. You can have. Now, even though this guy has cancer and is ancient and not married, he's actually all right to give land to because he's got an, a proper heir. Okay, great. Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre. You. Is this the only piece of land that you have? Yes, it is. Good. Declare war. He is in the pact. However, it's the Orthodox Defensive Pact, I believe. Which has not got the Byzantine in it yet. Okay, I'm fine with that. We can declare war without telling everybody to fuck off. Yeah, the Knights Hospitalar are the only other ones who would automatically join in, I believe. Do they actually have any land? How oh, they totally do. That little bit of land in there. Well, fuck them. Normally they wouldn't join in because, uh, I mean, these guys are orthodox. So, copy our holdings. Thank you very much. Make it a war. How many dudes do you actually have there? About 200. Cool. Um, and in total... Yeah, in total about 200. Just go across the border, mate. Now, he might um, pop up his actual military force, which is roughly 8,000 men that he's pulled out here. Oh, that's fine. That's actually fine. I don't think that's going to be too bad, too much of an issue. But seriously, where did he actually pull them from? He doesn't own land in here, does he? He does own land in here. I am amazed. Of the barony and then... Wait a minute. Get rid of that. Okay, three baronies. One there, one there, and one up there. Alright, that's fine. That's actually fine. Um, well, we got a fleet here. Oops, I don't didn't want those guys. What I actually wanted was C. Ah, perfect. I'm going to go and intercept that 8,000 men just so that they don't piss us off up here. Because this will be a fairly slow siege, regardless. Yep, thank you. All right, get on the boat, lads. And the boat is going to track out to the Gulf of Varna. I'm going to dump him in Galaz. Take this place. And then deal with this army. Where was that? 
don't think it was there. It was somewhere else. Oh, this one down here. Right. This this fight actually went nicely. Now we're about to have another fight. Because this guy doesn't know when to quit. And that'll be absolutely fine. I have zero complaints. Okay, the fleet is in position. Um, no, you guys are already besieging that place for me. That's awesome. Land at Belgorod. Vassal levies raised too long, that's alright. Battle of Damquat. So we're still at 75%, but that's only because we're limited due to uh, being the attacker. But we're going to take that one fairly quickly, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. <clears throat> so now what we're doing, letting these guys progress their siege and seeing what's going on here. So they're going to go into Galaz. That is actually fine. I believe these guys are actually besieging uh, Galaz itself, which is held by the Alam of Brandenburg. Why do you guys need to besiege that? Hmm. Where are your river crossings? Berlad, Ternu. Yeah, okay, so river crossings everywhere. That's okay. And her mission has been completed down in Tayez. So let's pick her up and put her down there. And she should still be proselytizing there. Wonderful. Awesome, in fact. I could have probably just vassalized that kid, but fuck it. Barracks in Varburg. Got me some stables and you're getting a little bit of depopulation going on in some of these places, which sucks. But, you know, what can you do? Hmm. You guys are headed back into Galaz. Well, we're not going that way. We're going to go this way. And swing around like that. And just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't move. So we'll get there on the 29th. Oh, Nasberg. Borg. Nasborg. Just built fortifications. And can't build anything else. Good on them. Okay. I'm going to make it into Burlad. And now it'll take us, yeah, just about 15 days to get in there. They're not moving out. We are going to take a uh, normal river crossing penalty, but that's fine. Concubine's pregnant. Stable's built in Salzburg. Salzburg being this one here. They can now build fortifications, I guess. Yep, not a bad victory. That'll give us a decent amount of percent, I think. 24, that's pretty good. And we captured this guy. Um, they weren't taken back, that's okay. We are actually going to sit on this and take it. Because that's more percentage for us and then we're going to 15th 21st meh. we are going to attack across that river but only because we know that the um brotherhood's army is broken already i'm going to get that fleet out of there because whoa okay this one here it's an independence war this guy, who we can't really do much about, but that has given us a good opportunity to take Perm. Perm was being a little bit annoying because it's like, oh, well, you know, sticking out there, but it's given us a good opportunity once we assess this guy's strength, 5,000 versus 8,000. Okay, it's not bad. But once we deal with this fight, 
or once we deal with the Brotherhood. Yeah, so they're still at low morale. We're going to intercept them. Looks like we lost a commander at some point. And it was actually one of our commanders this time. Uh, give us that guy. So I would have been in this fight. Yeah, the guy in the middle. That's alright, 9% from that. Put him in. Where are you going? They're going back up. That's fine, me too. What a coincidence. We're about to win this siege. Oh, it looks like the Knights Hospital are joining in. That's alright, because we just got to 100%. Boom. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You boys, head up here. I know we're going to have issues of winter and all that sort of shit, but that's fine. Um... Last night, my wife Badil told me that my face is scaring the children. Apparently, my daughter Freya has been especially frightened. Badil asked me to stay away from the children for now. Definitely not. Freya has no reason to fear her father, which is... I insist on socializing with them. My wife won't like that, and there's a 50% chance of little Freya here becoming craven, which we don't actually want. Or a few, few figures for the best, my dear, which is a 50% chance of us becoming depressed, which is what's happened. We've become depressed. Because my kids don't like my face. It's kind of sad. I mean, it is pretty fucking sad. Okay, we're at 100% of this guy too, so we'll just demand his... Yep, done. Beautiful. Now this army can head up here, because there's a Mongol Revolt territory, which we're going to occupy if possible. Like, when we can. Yeah, Defensive Pact, great. Um, we don't actually worry about a Defensive Pact, because we're about to declare war on a Revolt. Walls no built, it's uh, fort defences, which is the last of those, which is fine. So now we'll throw, start throwing keeps in there. Hopefully we get up there in time, because I know it's a long trek and the boats would not have helped, because <sighs> we're just at such volume now that we can't really get large amounts of troops up there. Excuse me. It's kind of annoying, I know. Actually, one second. Any decent amount of troops? 600? What do we need? Yeah, roughly 2,000 at min. 200. 200, probably the same 200. 1,000 there. 300 there. Yeah, right. Declare it. It's a conquest war. For per is it a conquest or a liberation? I feel like we're going to make it a conquest of Perm. Okay, we're at war. You, you. You, you. Yeah, it was the same. Okay, that many. 2,300. That's fine. Gather up down here. Take myself out of the army. And actually, if you could gather up on the province, because I don't think they can really raise too much out of there. Yeah, I'm mad, I know. Then that would be just fine. Okay, this army here can now actually sit on that. And you guys, I want you to come around here. And we can start taking these lands here and stopping armies from getting across the Urals. I think that's the Urals. Probably is. Duchy of Sana. Where's the Duchy of Sana? That one there? No, oh, because Vial of Socotra already has it. Wait, but Socotra is like... A 
titular kingdom anyway. So he can totally have the proper Duchy of Sana. Yep, thank you. Where are we? There we are, Yalem of Sana. Beautiful. We don't care about the rest of it. Yeah, this isn't looking too well for him. Sorry, buddy, but like... <laughs> That's what happens when you declare a jihad on me. Castle fortifications where? Probably Salzburg? Yep. Keep it coming. We took something from someone. County of Galaz. It's one in here. Yeah, that one there. Well done. Now we've got another reason to go to war with the Brotherhood of a Holy Motherfucking Sepulchre. Which we can't do for another 10 years anyway. Fuck. <laughs> ah, well. Whatever. We'll probably end up just fine. Come on, boys. Why are you carrying on? It'll be winter again by the time we get there. Okay, who's this? Oh! A truce is expiring with the Caliph in 60 days. I mean... I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure you're fucked anyway. So, there's a conquest for Tripoli. Hang on. So, that's Tripoli there. Yep. Then there's another conquest for Tripoli. There's three... Four... Four conquests of Tripoli, a holy war for Syria, and a prepared invasion of Syria. Syria being the entire... Well, the Duchy of Syria for the holy war, and a prepared invasion being all of his land. How is that prepped invasion going? Badly. For him. I'm not in a mood to go to war with him for nothing. Maybe if they fail at that prepared invasion, and then we just go in and clean everything up. Hey, another quick one. Nice. Hey, the twins. All right. Um, yep, save her. With your creepy arm choppy ways. All right, so we're making progress on that one there. These guys are headed down to Aktob, which probably means they're in a mood to try coming across up there. If they do that, we'll have to reinforce these guys up here with actual commanders. Because my guys are not going to be fast enough to get there in time. I don't think. Yeah, what a surprise. He was unsuccessful. Fucking dickhead. Okay, 25th of September. Probably not the greatest. Depends on where these guys are. Yep, they head up to Bashkira. That's fine. They do have a guy with them. But so do mine. Okay. Go up this way. Little revolt risk in there. In Upland. A revolt in Upland would not be pleasant, I think. So 30th of September, 19th of October. That's good, because we're going to get in our lands first. In fact, there we are right now. now. How long does it take us to move in there? 4th November. That's a long time. I'm pretty cool with it, though. Let's just see how this plays out. So, 19th of October. Go. So, he's fighting... Some dudes, some raiders, I guess. Which will further delay him, which is only good news for me. I'm already in here, dealing with shit. So that's good. 
And these guys are going to be fucking off soon. Alright. Let's just see how this battle situation plays out. So, 23rd of November. So, about a month. Yep, sure, whatever. We need to get this child a guardian. It'll be somebody in the military. Sure. We're now going to beat those raiders, which is fine. Helsingvord built its shipyard. Keep on going for it. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so they're moving out. Hang on a second. Fuck off. 6th of December. Yep, so we do have our intercept. Oh, and these guys have successfully held their ground. So I'm actually going to send them up north to deal with this bit up here. Because I don't want a, my main army going into low supply areas. Like, why would I? Okay, here goes our intercept. Bang, intercept on. Oh, the leader himself. If we capture him, we'll save a whole lot of trouble. Nope, didn't even wipe him out, so chase him. With that, though, I mean, we've successfully done what I wanted to do, which was get the intercept in. And now we should be getting a ticking war score. We are indeed. So that's wonderful. And his war with the actual Mongol dude. Not going well for him, but like, you know, that's fine. Cool. And we'll call that the end of the episode. So as usual, I've been Sub. You've been yourselves. Later.